We flipped the neck and I dropped the Jeep. Yeah, you see the... I, I took the Jeep off right first this time. So back to over there. And uh, we're gonna cut that board. I'm gonna leave uh, one long board. It's over there actually. I'm gonna leave that one to John. Because I don't need so many boards, but he uh, offered to cut this one so I can keep this one. Because this one is nice, but we're gonna cut it in two, and this will give me six boards. But these are like 11 by 3, 11 inches wide. These are the new boards from Baltimore. And I still have all my chains. So now the plan is to hook to the neck and disconnect the neck, and then we can start unloading. And this time I put my kingpin in here just to see because it might make it will make me a bit shorter All right let me just put this on the back there so you guys can watch oh and i have a new uh, new cap i had to replace the entire thing here i took the old one off and basically i bought the whole assembly with the filter It seems not, not to move, you know.
monster. Jesus. See, those are smaller ones. Actually, they look, no, this one looks bigger. Last time I was here, John didn't have uh, as much space. Now they moved all their machines and they they created more parking in the field because he owns all this property. So they moved everything, and now they have this nice, you know, turn. I like when I came in, I went around this silo. It was uh, much much easier this time. And we're gonna load the jeep, and we're gonna keep the booster. out over there. Yeah, just go a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, 
perfect. Don't take the Jeep. <laughs> yeah, the big one was on the air hose. successful delivery another heavy customer so what is this some kind of plastic you see that's where the whole machine was sitting on this and I was trying to move it here but just not enough space all right thanks for watching boys and girls be good